What's up, boy boys? Back again with another reaction. Offending everybody. Why no one loves you? Holy, my man sure do be offending everybody. They think my videos be a little too risque. Wait, my man's be wilding. Let's go. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? Is it disgust? Of course it is, because you're disgusting. But that doesn't mean you can't be loved, so here's how to trick people into loving you. Number one, your parents. Your parents definitely don't love you. Sure, they say it, but that's more from guilt than choice. Believe me, if they could click that restart button, they would. 45 <laughs> and still living in your hometown. I think it's As a plan B, guys, if y'all don't know what a plan B is, it's good for you. All right. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, I gotta make a video about plan B. Let me write that down right now. Lord have mercy. Uh, oh, if you've never been through a plan B situation, Lord have mercy. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> oh, man, shout out to... Ne I'm not going to say her name, but let me get back to it. That's where Deb saw her life? No. If anything, you're a constant reminder of their failures. Your mere existence brings them <laughs> anguish. But all this can change if you bring them grandchildren. Babies are like toys for old people, where it doesn't matter how hard they play, because someone else is paying for it. And let's be honest... That's very true. Like, when my parents saw my son for the first time, it was like they melted like a little kid, so... Yeah, if you can pass on to generations, then it's up to you, man. Some people don't want kids. I get it. It's 2024. The world's tough, so hi. You're kind of hoping Dad's dementia brain mistakes little Billy for laundry detergent, just washing away all your problems. But in all seriousness, kids give your parents life purpose. Your mom keeps staring at her Xanax prescription, and your dad is one fender bender away from saying, Today's the day! They need this. Sure, they'll break your balls about being a free babysitter, but that's like having to buy a purse before butt play. It's the cost of doing business. So if you want Christmas to be a little less depressing, then try introducing them to joy. Number two, your siblings. All you have to do is be reliable. Car broke down, death in family, Minecraft mod adding a Occasional buffering? You better be there. Siblings don't really care about your dreams or problems. Nope. They're just happy you brought jumper cables. Yep, yep. Siblings don't give a damn. Especially when you're young. When you're young, y'all gonna be fighting all the time. Especially if your age is a little closer than others. Uh woo! Y'all gonna be on it. But if some people have like a 10 year, 20 year gap with their siblings, you have nothing in common. That's pretty much your parent. You see, you're more of a tool for their convenience. They're never inviting you to the topless pool parties. No, <laughs> it's always we need to dig a grave or ditch the car. And nah, you can't not my brother. Not my brother. We have a topless party. Trust me. He's going to hit me up. Narkin is the quickest way to write yourself out of the will. However, there are limits. Like if your brother reveals his favorite dinosaur is Diddle Source, then it's time to distance yourself. His she acts mature for her age is not gonna hold up in court. But if their menu doesn't include a kid's section, then you're stuck with them. Blood is thicker than water, and that's why they trust you to hold the shovel. Yeah, your back hurts, and you're not sure if you turned off your location, but remember, nothing says love like a loyal accomplice. Number three, your friends. <laughs> if you want your friends to love you, then all you need to do is risk serious bodily harm. Doing a backflip off the roof is the quickest way to become a living legend. Or cripple legend if you oh, ever rotate. The point is, you're still a legend. You don't think they're gonna be happy to see your spaghetti legs at the hospital? John's wailing on your shin saying, You seriously don't feel this? He's too insecure to give you a hug, so this is all the physical love you're gonna receive. But remember, there's a big difference between being a dumb f and a f up. A dumb f will get himself arrested, a f up will get you arrested. So choose your friends wisely. Because we all love okay. hearing, I bought fireworks, but not. Oh god, there were kids in this. We need to go. There were kids we in need this. to go. Number four, your spouse. For women, love can be bought. Cars, houses, Laker tickets can all turn an uggo into hubby material. Oh man, that's the sad thing about today's world. Like, yeah, you have to have some type of money to get a woman. Back in the day, women just loved you and worked with you because you had a good heart and you loved them and you cherished them and you treated them with respect. But it's all gone. 2024, <sighs> modern women, modern man. Good luck. You see, women are basically TikTok, just randomly swiping to the next thought or emotion. They need stuff to distract their erratic squirrel brain. Gucci bag, wedding ring, Botox. Come here, just a little further. For men, love can also be bought, but your submission is the currency. Daddy's looking to get rid of his poison. Okay, now be a good girl and open up. I give you financial security, you give me the cheeks. That's the deal. I know you weren't a corn star coming into this relationship, but remember, the position always has openings. You said you were good at school, so start taking notes. You see how she's not gagging oh or God. crying? Oh, yeah, no. so oh, oh, oh! Oh, my man is a beast out here. He really does be offending people. I want to I wanna see the comment section what they were talking about. Loosen up that jaw and wiping away those tears, because nothing says love quite like... <coughs> Number five, yourself. Be honest, when you look in the mirror, you see disgust. And quite frankly, you should. Look at you. That body, that Yo, face. Yo, my man, offend everybody gotta be careful. Like, YouTube is very strict in those type of jokes, so you have to find a spontaneous way to say it. But Lord, everyone, he goes straight to the point. Oh, but don't let this get you down. Use it as data. Because if you hate yourself, then others probably do too. You think you're the only one with that primitive emotion in your simple monkey brain? No, 
Hell, women are basically preloaded with self-loathing. Their first words are, I will never be good enough. They don't know what it means yet, but they know how it makes them feel worthless. So the trick to loving yourself is accepting you're disgusting, but not as disgusting as others. Mike simps for e-girls. Tom is on his third DUI. Billy brought a Nizuko body pillow to school! And you think they're better? You're not the one failing chemistry! Face it, most people are trash. So start using the judgment hammer to build your <laughs> ego. Damn. Is Tom wearing a gamer headset in public? Did Mike just post a shirtless selfie? Is Becky about to have her third kid with her third baby daddy? <laughs> That's why you don't uh, post your personal information on social media. A lot of people are doing too much, man. Some things you just keep to yourself. You're in a bad relationship, keep to yourself. You're going through uh, depression, keep it to yourself. Go to your real family so they can uplift you. And if you don't have real family, don't you have friends? Lord, try, stop praying. All right? That's the only way. Just keep your business out of the internet. God, damn, these new Gen Zs are crazy. <laughs> Oh, you know, so. I do feel a little better. So that's my vid on how to get people to love you. But if you want to know the true secret, it's stop. Stop trying to fit in. Stop worrying about what others Back. think. Stop waiting for love to validate your ex- Alright, so this is the problem with this. This is usually your probably teenage years and younger years. You're insecure, so you are looking to others to make you feel better. Yeah, man, you just got to be confident in yourself, man. One time I realized that I didn't give a damn what nobody said. I'm all about what I like and what I do. All right. Even your parents, if they're not down with you, you just got to tell them, man, hey, I love you, but I'm going to love you from over here. Try to be the best person you can be and everyone else is going to be attracted to you. You're going to attract the energy that you're putting out. Existence. Everyone is just as lost, confused, and insecure as you are, if not more. They're all slapping filters on their lives, pretending they're winning, when deep down, they're drowning in the same I'm just a burden thoughts. So stop wasting your time chasing their approval when it's clear you don't need it. No, you need to realize that just existing in this fucked up world is proof you're stronger than you think. Just think about all those days that try to break you, all those rejections that cut deep, all those dark thoughts telling you to just do it. Oh, wait a minute. Now, I have never been... You know, but hey, 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 I think he's talking to the people that are really depressed in the world. So the hard, the hard truth is the world is tough when you get outside. You know, you're going to have bills. You're going to be busy at work. You're going to have people that are trying to go against you. Uh, it's just the pressure of living can be tough on some people. But you have to come from a hard background like I am. I'm good, man. I'm not worried about anything. It is what it is. You can't control everything. Control what you can control and everything else. Let it flow. Do it! Do it! And yet, <laughs> you're still standing. Yep. Or sitting, depending on how high <laughs> that roof was. <laughs> oh, I miss you, Jimmy. Oh. Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh. oh I want to push that subscribe button. Oh. All right, my man. All right, all right. Before we finish off, shout out to my boy, offended everybody. Make sure I hit him with a like. My man is always wilding out here. He's got. Let me see what the number one comment is. This man can't get demonetized or canceled. This is his calling. I understand. No freaking. Whoa, you can curse in the comment section? Wow. Okay. The rare moment of offend everybody giving a motivational speech for the depressed. Shout out to that man. See you guys in the next one. Your boy is out.